put a few things together in this video. Um, I've changed the background from my previous videos to the sky to be orange. There's no video sphere in this one. So I've just got, as you can see, white box spinning around with hello on the screen. I'm going to add uh, two main things. I'm going to int introduce the idea of assets and then I'm going to use them to put a predefined object in place. If you look to the left of the screen, there's two new files, penguin and penguin.object.mnt. One dot object is the shape and the MLT is the material. Okay, so let's add those in. And I'm gonna do it this time using assets. So a frame allows this and we can put assets in there. They're not going to actually appear inside the scene as such yet, but they just are there for us to use. So I'm going to use two assets, one called object, one called material. So that's the ID. And when I use them, I'll just say hashtag object, hashtag material. Okay. So what's next? Well, next I'm going to add the object and A-Frame allows you to use certain object formats, 3D objects. So I've taken this from a free site. It's going to be a penguin. So you can see this penguin is floating in the air. So we have the source for the object and we have the source for the material. And I've put the position at uh, 0, 0.22. 2. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the play with the camera position a little bit. So now we've lost our object. If I put it back, it's around that three. If when we're in line with the object, our camera's in line with the object, we get this behavior. So I quite like the what we had before. So just going to put the object floating in the air. And I put the object, the penguin, at zero to two. Okay. So we have our object. We can go around we can look at it. Take our lower lower it a little bit. Oops, that one. So I'll take that down a little bit. All right, last thing, just to finish off, is go back to something that we've done before, which is to put in something on the rotating object. I'm just going to do this through downloading it, get it to put in an image with a direct link. So I don't have to upload it here. Just going to move the object a little bit out of the way. And there it is. So we have our object, so we have our box floating with some images on top, and we've now introduced a 3D object into this space.
and that's it.